So it's a true pleasure to present to you as an engineer slash information scientist. And I hope you can actually help me with some of the challenges we are facing. Um, so we are working on what we call a human reference map. And um, as you know, many of you probably have atlases at home, but there's also an atlas of human anatomy. And we are trying to get an atlas of human anatomy down to the single cell level, a trillion of cells. How would you go about it? And ideally it's actionable for surgeons, for pathologists, for um, patients also. And so some of the maps that you see of single cells look like this, they're TSNE or UMAP plots, and you can maybe zoom them in different levels. Um, over time, you might also have network plots and you can again zoom into them. Um, and there's an entire duck stool coming up on multi-level graph representations that some of you might be interested in. And I know some of you will be attending and it's wonderful to have a cartographer for us in that discussion. There's also an entire um, special issue in the IEEE computer graphics and applications on multi-level graph representation. So if you work in that area, please consider submitting. And I will post some of these links into the chat later on. But what I really need from all of you is guidance on how can we map something as complex as human body. And we could, for instance, use the blood vessel system to just do routing, uh, just follow along the blood vessel system because it has to go to almost every single cell in the human body because if it's not feeding um, and getting oxygen, the cell will die. So that's one way of doing it. What we do right now is to get a lot of different omics data, so genomics, epigenomics, proteomics, metabolomics data, and we are creating a common coordinate framework, which you see here on the lower right-hand side. And we assume that there is a cell inside of a functional tissue unit inside of an organ inside of the human body. And we use that part of taxonomy to get us all a better understanding of the human body. We are also creating so-called ASCT plus B tables. So anatomical structures part of tree plus cell typology plus um, biomarkers that are used to identify or characterize different biomarkers and, and cell types. And then we have these um, very large scale networks, um, basically a part of taxonomy and two bimodal networks between cell types and body parts and with, between biomarkers and cell types that we need to lay out. And again, I believe cartographers are, have actually quite a bit of um, expertise to bring to the table. And I'm reaching out to those of you which would like to uh, be part of it. And you can of course hover over and see details. We can then do this for different reference organs and we can align the 3D spatiality of the human body with the anatomical structure and cell type and biomarkers, ontologies, and um, definitions thereof. And so now you have a semantically explicit and spatially explicit systems that work together. And I think you guys know a lot about how to make space, space and um, terminology work together. Again, I think we would love to benefit. And um, we can show this in user interfaces and you can explore them. And I see the um, cutoff time here. Um, so I again, will post some of this into the chat, but if you're interested to talk more, please let me know. Thank you all.